morning lovelies. It is the day for Wales Comic Con. I am so, so excited. I apologise for me speaking like really quietly. Um, I will do a warning later on for when you've got to turn the volume back down. But yeah, my parents and my brother are still in bed and I don't want to wake them up. I don't even know if they can hear me right now. Maybe they can hear me slightly. But yeah, I'm filming this in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure this is the best place to go to not be heard. I'm just about to eat my breakfast now. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. It's no wonder I'm up earlier than everyone else. Anyway, I'll check back to you in a little bit. Hopefully I can speak a little bit louder then. Okay, hopefully I have now not destroyed your ears because you should have turned your volume down and if you didn't, then that's not my fault. Hello, Sam. Hello. So yeah, I've got the contacts in now, ready to do my makeup. Um, I'm just wearing purple lenses because I don't have red ones yet and I thought, well actually it was his, well, it was, it was my idea, it was his opinion that my purple contacts would look better than me just having natural brown eyes. So yeah, I'll do that now, I'll film a time lapse. It might not be, I mean, it might not be, it won't be as long as the one in the J-Con vlog because the makeup will not take two hours like it did last time. So yeah, I'll still film it though, and I'm actually doing it myself, so don't laugh at me please. See you shortly. My makeup skills are not as good as Sam's. I do not have all the amazing expensive makeup he has and I also don't have the skills he has considering he actually trained to be a freelance makeup artist. But yeah, I think it's pretty alright. I might have done it a little bit better last night, I'm not completely sure. But yeah, it'll do. It'll do. At least I made an effort and I'm, I hope people can see that. So yeah, I am just about to get the cosplay on now. Oh, I can't wait to get back in there. I just wanna I'm just gonna end the video right now so I can actually finally get in the cosplay. So see you in a minute. Well I'm pretty much ready. We're just trying to sort out the chest plate and we had a bit of trouble with a wig, but because it's like really shit. But yeah, um Um I'm getting the I'm actually um styling it properly this time because before I didn't realise that a bangs went under it. And also I didn't realise that these were on the other side. So yeah, I'm actually accurate this time. I Yay! Tighter. A little bit. Cool, because I put on like, the, I put on, like a bit tighter mm. setting. I did do what I said in the video, um, and get Velcro, but it's like, I got the wrong size and it's really not sticking well, so like, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. But yeah, I better go because I need to get my shoes on and yeah, get a couple of things to bring with me. And leave! Yeah, we'll be leaving <laughs> soon, so see you shortly! <laughs> we're on our way! Has begun. See, I always come up with good things, but you don't know. <laughs> like that. What are you going this at, you'd say? This was our idea. It's time to be all Tumblr. Where's the sunset? I want oh, to be Tumblr. Idea. I'm sorry for not filming much, I'm not really having much opportunity, but we've just met Chris Jericho! And not only that, but um, those who follow me on social media and such will know that I have been working on fan art for him. Uh, and I brought two prints with me, one to give to him, which I didn't think I'd do, and one for him to sign. And when he saw it, he was like, did you draw this? I was like, yes, I did. And oh, he, straight away he was complimenting me. And um, he didn't just do uh, two tar and then a signature, he also wrote great work on it. And um, he, was, he told me that I was a great artist and I should keep at it before um, getting up to take a photo with me, which um, Sam took, which you normally can't do with the, um, the autograph signing, um, you have to just pay for the photo op. But yeah, he still took a picture of me because of the fan art I drew him. And, um, oh, and, then, and then he just went on to hug me and I just like, quickly said thank you before scoring away so I could cry while Sam went to get his own autograph. So good. It was, it, it was so nice of him, honestly, it's like the best thing 
want to come in like, my life. <laughs> just stuff in like getting yeah, um, motivation to achieve your dreams than to have Chris Jericho tell you to keep at it and that you're a great artist and just oh. I'll put the photo like in the um, in the photos that I will have a most likely have a slideshow up at the end of this video. But yeah, I will film again later. I'm just just so happy right now. I would not want to stand that close if I was you. I could put the camera carving on. Yeah, I think I missed the music. I was going to get this in the way of my footage. I know, right? Convention, convention. We are at the convention. You can see I am now home. I'm sorry I didn't really actually get that much footage while I was at the convention. There was just less going on than there was at JCon. Like, event-wise, I mean, there were loads of people, but yeah, there weren't really any events like there were at JCon. For example, like the cosplay contest. And also, didn't really get much opportunity considering we weren't there for the full day and we spent a lot of time queuing up and things like that. But because I didn't get much footage in the convention itself, I decided to just quickly show you um, what I bought and everything like that. So I asked for a pink Hello Kitty hat, but it, I think she must have grabbed the wrong one because I got this instead. She must have just saw the pink through the packaging, but this is really adorable. It's just basically one of those like hat and glove things, if I can actually get it on to show you. Yeah. It's really, 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 really cute. Uh, I just had to have it when I saw it. Um, well, the Hello Kitty one, but you know, it's still adorable. It was only £4 actually, which I think was just amazing. And then I only bought one other thing for myself, aside from food, and that was three large badges. At the same stand they were selling um, smaller badges, which were, I believe, three for £2? No, four for £3. And I was going to do that, but then I realised that they were really, really small. But then I saw they were doing bigger badges, which were three for five pounds, so I thought I'll do that for a bigger, better deal. So the first one I picked up was L, of course, because I absolutely love Death Note, in case you couldn't tell by my L poster. <laughs> then I got Sebastian, because who doesn't want a badge of Sebastian's sexy face? Hmm. And finally I got a Yowie badge. Why not? <laughs> I'm a Yoi and a Yuri fangirl, so yeah, Yaoi badge for me. And then I bought one other thing which wasn't for me, again it was for my online friend Katie as part of her Christmas presents, so Katie if you are watching this because I pretty sure you watched the last vlog and didn't watch the haul, look away now otherwise I will not forgive you. Anyway, now us non Katie fucker here, I just basically got her this like basic Deathly Hallows necklace. I'll probably get like one other thing off Amazon to um, go with this in the Supernatural art because she's spending quite a lot on me and this was only £4.50 while the other one was £7 so I can afford to get a, like one or two other things but yeah I thought that'd be nice to um, give to her as well considering she loves Harry Potter so yeah, woo that is that so obviously you already know about the whole Jericho thing those who don't follow me on any of my social media websites apart from this one. This is the fan art that I drew for Chris Jericho. Um, obviously because of the rain it got through the top of it and made the ink run like there's a few splodges on his face. But yeah, I had printed off, like I said before, I printed off two copies. I wasn't going to give him the second copy at first because um, I thought I wouldn't have time because he was going to leave soon. Very soon. But I nervously said after Sam took a photo that I had printed a second one for him. And it's like, oh, is that for me? And then he took it and put it on the side and it's just... Oh. <laughs> but yeah, obviously there's the um, there's the signature on there. Um, like the usual one, two tower, and then he put great work on that side. And oh my god, I was... I was just... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. I, I was over the moon, honestly. Happiness wise, like J-Con was like the happiest like day of my life but this was like one of my happiest moments because like I said before it's just, there's nothing like 
being told by your idol who you do fart for that you're a good artist and that you should carry on like that just made my whole day and I was worried as well when I like first started this that it wouldn't be good enough that Andy, Andy just wouldn't find it that good but then next thing you know I'm getting a free photo he just he gave me a free photo because I drew him fan art and I'm just majorly fangirling I couldn't believe it honestly anyway let's put fangirling over Jericho to the side so I can end this video well thank you for watching I apologise that it was shorter than the Jacob one but I hope you still enjoyed it it was a great convention even if like we didn't actually do that much when we were there we just went around a few stalls and you know met Chris Jericho but yeah it was still really enjoyable and I would definitely go to another comic con at some point so yes again Thank you for watching and see you in my next video!